Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. So this spread is a rewind of last week as I was away camping, so I'm going back to the week of the 24th to the 30th. I'm going to be using free printable stickers as well this week from two different blogs, both which will be linked down in the description box for you. So the first two sheet set is from my planner Envy and I love the deco and all of the half boxes and page flags, it was really, really functional. And then the next sheet is from Sepida, I think you pronounce it, Prints. And I chose this for the full box scene as I've never used a scene before in my spread so I was really excited. I've also got this grab bag from Planable Designs. I've had it a while and I'm just going to use the weather icons as honestly I don't know when else I would use them and I thought it would be quite fun to look back and know what the weather was like. I'm also going to be using two rolls of washi. One is a bronze gold glitter and the other is a fabric washi with gold stars. So let's get started with the glitter washi along the bottom and then to cut it I'm just going to use my craft knife and my hobby craft card. So we went away camping, if you haven't guessed that already, and we go every year, I always go with family and there's around 40 of us, and it rained pretty much the entire time, like relentless pouring rain. So you can probably guess what weather emoji I'm going to be used throughout this red. So next I use the fabric washi, and I don't often use fabric washi as the edges fray, so I just trimmed that off, but the stars reminded me of the night sky, so I kind of had to use it. So just cut this to size and then peeled off the backing and I did also trim this down because I wanted some of the gold glitter to peek through so I didn't want it as thick as the gold glitter and then I was just measuring to see if my off cut I could use as washi or as headers so just put them to one side and I will use them in my spread. So after the washi was all done, I was going to go in day by day as I usually do, but there was only one type and colour header, so I thought I would just place them all down just to kind of get them out of the way. I then also thought I might as well put my full boxes down which was really weird to me as I don't normally do it this way but because I was using two scenes I didn't want to forget and then leave a part of the scene out which I nearly did actually so I did have to move Tuesday's box over to Thursday so I could fit the picnic double box in which I forgot I had that one I was just thinking I had the triple kind of scene box but once I've moved them around I just had to put the triple scene box in and then I can go in day by day. This kit I also printed out uh, the Happy Planner version, there is an Erin Condrum one as well. This is the first Happy Planner size stickers I have ever used. I normally go for Erin Condren but I went with the Happy Planner one this time. So our camping trip actually started on the Sunday, so I just used a long page flag and wrote Sunday down because I loved this put the tent up sticker and I really wanted to use it, so I just marked that down for the Sunday. Underneath I just went in with a full box and this little arrow that says supplies on because we had to pick up some supplies. And then I'm going to be marking the weather every day, so as I said, it was really raining on Monday. It just didn't stop the entire day. Um, we also had a barbecue for dinner, so I thought I would just mark down what dinners we had as well. For Tuesday, I went in with a brown page flag and yet another raining cloud emoji. We also did take a drive into Sheringham, which was quite close to where we were camping. And I probably made the best bargain buy of the entire week so we drove into Sheringham and I bought all the children wellies and they wore them constantly non-stop so it was like the best buy ever underneath I just wanted to put down this little card just to show that we took a drive into Sheringham and then underneath I just wanted to da mark down that the boys were carving sticks with their pen knife and there was a pen knife little sticker in the kit which I really wanted to use but it's ginormous but I did manage to fit it in I'm just using a page flag here with a little campfire symbol just to mark down that we had Diet Coke chicken this day for dinner. For Wednesday I used this map 
sticker which was actually perfect because we took a drive over to Sheringham Park which is absolutely massive like we only done a tiny part of a walk but we drove there and had a nice walk so the map was like the perfect sticker to use and then afterwards we drove straight over to the big swimming pool that's near Sheringham and we just went swimming with everyone that was at camp but really it was just to have a really nice hot shower because it had been raining and everything was damp back at our camp. I used a red page flag and I put a little happy camper symbol on there and then underneath I put a green page flag with a torch and then finished it off with a yellow page flag and a little flask. So the red one was to mark that we had jacket potatoes which is one of my favourites. We also had a nighttime walk in the woods and we had some hot cocoa. And then I'm going to move on to Thursday and I'm going to put down obviously the weather. So I used a blue page flag for that and it was actually raining and then it was cloudy but there was also lots of rainbows on that day and there was a double rainbow. So I just used a little quarter box and wrote down double rainbow so I would remember. As this day wasn't pouring with rain, we decided to drive up to Wells on sea, or Wells next to sea, I can never remember which way round that is, but we drove up to, they have like a really nice lovely big beach there. So we drove up there and we saw lots of sea, well we didn't see lots of seals, we saw a seal on one of the beaches which was really close. So I just took the camera icon to mark down that we took pictures and because we're at the beach I wanted to use the sunglasses but I do actually move that off because it just got in my way. We had fish and chips for dinner back at the camp when we got home so I just marked that with a green page flag. We also managed to sit outside with the big campfire and although we didn't eat s'mores because we don't really have s'mores here in the UK, we did toast or roast marshmallows so I just marked that down with the sticker. Friday's weather was actually pretty decent. It was cloudy and then it was really windy, which was not ideal because we were taking our tent down on this day and packing up, which is why I put the pack bag sticker. So putting down a tent in the wind was just crazy because we have quite a big tent. I think it's a 12 or 16 man tent. So it's pretty huge and the wind was just not our friend on that day. But we'd all had enough camping by then and to be honest, I'd run out of decent clothes back on the Wednesday. Everything else was either wet, damp or suitable for sunny weather. So we packed up on Friday and we stopped at McDonald's on the way home as like a little pick me up <laughs> to get over our camping trip. So for the weekend, I just used the extra cutoff bit from the bottom washi. I just used that a double layer for the weekend banner in the middle and I didn't realise the weekend banner wouldn't fit the whole way across so I just had to move it over and centre it. So for Saturday I just put down this three checklist and we just really unpacked. I'd done an online food shop because we had no food and of course I had so much laundry. I think in the end it worked out I had eight bin bag full of clothes to wash plus sleeping bags so I was like in a state. The weather on this day was actually okay, it was just really cloudy so we decided to take the boys because my daughter wasn't here so we took the boys up to Yarmouth and we went on all of the arcades up there. There wasn't really any emoji or anything or any icon to mark down anything for arcades so I just took these car keys and just put them down. Then I put down a little quarter box just to mark down that when we come home we just had a real chill out with the boys on the sofas and we just watched some films. For Sunday I started with a quarter box to do laundry. It's actually been quite fun doing a rewind spread. I've never done one before but do, planning things that I've already done was actually really fun. So maybe I'll do some more of these in the near future. But um, after my laundry, I had to film my plan with me that went up on Monday that hopefully you guys have seen. If not, then I will link it down below. And then after that, I'd done yet more laundry. And then of course on this day it rained because, you know, why wouldn't it? For my sidebar, I just started with a full box covered in arrows because I wanted to use some of this really cute deco. I used a little caravan and then a little make memories plaque. I put another full box down under some washi which actually says the mountains are calling, not that we were camping in mountains but you know we were in a forest so it was close enough. I also put down a top three which I think is a really cool idea especially if you're doing a holiday spread or a special themed spread just to jot down three top things that were really good that week. 
So I just filled that in and then I went back and added a few more bits because I didn't want to use it all up in the spread and then not have anything left for my sidebar. So um, I went back on the Thursday and just added in that my cousin's socks set on fire. It was really funny and it was one of my top three moments. And then I remembered on Monday there was a ginormous spider in my tent that Jace had to get out for me. So I just put one of these crying little poppets down because that was literally me. I also put down one of my poppets that is holding the ice cream because when we drove to Sheringham I also bought the kids some ice cream. And then for the fish and chips I just used the poppet holding the chips from the takeaway sheet. All these poppets will be out in my shop when it opens but I will let you guys know. So then I just went back with the deco that I had left and kind of placed it around because I really love this deco in this kit, it's what kind of drew me to it so I definitely wanted to use it all. I also had a couple of bits of washies left over so I just went in and added them along the black lines. I think I only done Monday, Sunday and Friday. Yeah, I only done those ones and left the other ones but I just wanted to cover the black lines that was there. And then just to fill in the kind of bigger gaps that were left, I just used my pen just to make some little dots. And that was it really for this week's spread. I did forget to put the weather down on the Wednesday so I just went back and added that. But here's a close up of this week's spread so if you enjoyed this rewind plan with me then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more plan with me's and I will see you all on Monday. Bye guys.